My name is Jim Probstel. I own a management consulting firm. Uh, it's been headquartered here in Barrington for 30 years. I'm also an author. I have two published novels. The first novel is In the Absence of Honor, and the second novel is Fatal Incident. I think one of the most important things that happens in life is the feeling that you get about being able to help somebody else. Uh, my brother Dick uh, was an incredible athlete in both high school and college and he was in the process of dying from CTE dementia, which is the dementia that comes from the high impact concussions that are sustained in contact sports. You probably know Canton, Ohio is the home of the Professional Football Hall of Fame as well as home to some incredibly good high school football programs. So that was built inside the culture of who we are. Dick was a tremendous student athlete in Canton, Ohio, lettering in all three of the major sports for all four years of his high school career. But he was very focused in the way he played football. Canton, Ohio is a place that, that remembers its high school football athletes well. They pride themselves in football and the culture of football. And they have a very unique high school football hall of fame, which Dick had been considered for, uh, but had never been enshrined. And I always felt that that was a, a shortcoming in terms of his accomplishments because he was certainly deserving. Well, because of his age, and because it had been a long time since he played high school football, most of the people that remembered what he did had been somewhat forgotten. So I took it upon myself to fix that, to remedy that. And uh, I called in every marker of everybody I knew via email, letters, interviews, to reestablish the level of performance that he brought to high school football when he played some time ago. On July 22nd, 2011, my brother Dick was enshrined. His CTE dementia prevented him, from, however, from doing the actual acceptance speech. He just wasn't able to talk. His garbled and mumbled ability to communicate did not allow him to say anything, so I had to do the presentation for him, which of course I was happy to do. But when I was done, he was not satisfied. And with a very difficult language and inaudible communication, he took hold of the mic and held the mic for two minutes in his wheelchair and tried to communicate to an audience of hundreds. Uh, you could not understand a thing that he was saying, but what we heard that day was the heart of a champion. And to me that was, that was just amazing as the crowd felt that it was as well too. His moment of recognition that day was one of the best moments of my life.